the MFDs um, they they move all the gauges, the flaps, um, tested everything, the fuel, whatever. So once I have the proper panels in there, this is the perfect example of mixed reality where hey everyone welcome back to the channel today we take a look at the a10c so this was done several years ago and i have been flying it in vr using the pimax 5k resolution it's not great um especially trying to identify tanks down in the weeds camouflaged among uh, trees and grass it was hard to spot them and also to operate um, the cockpit i had to peek through uh, the nose gap to see what i'm uh, trying to operate so but vr is still much better than monitors um gone are the days where i use track ir and move my head around to move the monitor view uh, vr is a lot more immersive if, although a bit painful to see the switches now with the quest 3 with decent pass through and decent resolution um mr it's going to be the latest and greatest way of um, doing flight sim right now when the pimax super or the light um is able to do mr faceplate with um, very good pass through and very good resolution on the headset itself then that is going to be even better for now the quest 3 will suffice so um here you see this done um a lot of inputs the outputs were all fake okay no outputs um I didn't have warning panel done, um, but all the inputs were done. And I had yet to build the, um, the displays. As you can see, the A10 has many displays, right? LCDs and seven segments, and they were not easy to figure out. Um, but I have finally cracked the code on them so also various small light indicators here and there besides the big one um, for the warning panel and i have mastered helios and mixed reality so now when all the outputs are done um, actually the input especially from the for the front console they were not 3d printed i'm going to do them they the old ones of printing and pasting paper um, doesn't cut it so besides that the, the bulk of the work like finding the right uh, switch and knob and figuring out the wiring of the input all these are like maybe 90% of the work so now we just have to finish the input and then the whole A10 with the most number of panels um, will be great in uh, mixed reality okay i've been flying the f-15 eagle trying to do mixed reality but uh, my ufc uh, hdmi port blue and the lcd screen had problem as well so i while waiting for a part I'm revisiting my A10C cockpit which I mostly
completed with the inputs but I got stuck at the output um, then I switched to the Strike Eagle when it came out so you see a lot of the A10C has the most number of panels and the inputs are mostly done here but the it has many outputs it has three radios two VHF UHF we have the CMSC here right then we have CMSP we have um, warning uh, CDU LCD Tekken and ILS all require seven segment display so a lot of them and I was a bit stuck so I figured them out um, now this next reality test here it's a bit messy we can see the background but when you cover up with the panel and the necessary knobs right you will just see the gauges which is cool now, this one the CMSC we need to increase the, the brightness but the good thing is all instruments work okay a hundred percent unlike the f18 where the mfds work but the instruments some of them are transparent the f15 where all the instruments work but the mfds are transparent the a10 and i think the f16 um, everything is working okay this a10 so as you can see the MFDs, um, they remove all the gauges, the flaps, um, tested everything, the fuel, whatever. So once I have the proper panels in there, this is the perfect example of mixed reality where you have all the switches, um, I'll be working on all the output and finishing up some of the input. Um, you have the switches around you you have the virtual reality you know around you and most importantly all the instruments work then this is going to be a very awesome um, way to fly this aircraft all right I will be starting a playlist on the A10 and showing the progress panel by panel. I'll be working backwards this time. I'll be now that I've tested the MR, I'll be working on um, new MFDs, the big one, not the Cougar um, four and a quarter inch. The A10 is the five inch. I'll be working. I'll be building a button uh, MFDs and then panel for everything once I'm done with the front then I work backwards towards finishing up the inputs and then doing the outputs all right when everything is done um, this is going to be fun because the A10 is very fun with the gun I like to take out uh, Sam's and triple A's with Mavericks and then destroy a whole convoy of um, oops we entered the class destroy a convoy of tanks uh, with cluster cluster bombs and then wipe up the rest uh, whatever is remaining with the gun so um, I find I find doing attack missions more fun actually than doing dogfighting all right the only thing that the a10 cannot do is the harm like the f16 where it can really shoot down um, surface threats um, very far away all right thanks for watching